In the silent depths of space, far beyond the glow of our familiar sun, there exists something that defies every law of common sense. A remnant of destruction. A ghost born from the death of a giant. A star, crushed into something so impossibly dense, so frighteningly heavy, that a single spoonful of its material would weigh 4 billion tons. 4 billion tons. In a spoon. It sounds absurd, a science fiction exaggeration, a wild claim for clicks and curiosity. But this is real. To understand how such a thing could exist, we must first go to the moment a massive star meets its end. When a star many times larger than our sun burns through its fuel, its life begins to crumble. For millions of years, it has fought a perfect battle, gravity pulling inward, nuclear fusion pushing outward. But when the fuel runs out, the balance shatters. Gravity wins. In a single catastrophic moment, the star's core collapses inward. The outer layers explode in a blinding supernova, one of the most violent events in the universe. What remains behind is no ordinary corpse. It is a neutron star. All the matter that once spanned millions of kilometers has been crushed into a sphere barely 20 kilometers across, about the size of a city. Imagine taking the sun, with its unimaginable mass, and compressing it until it could fit inside Manhattan. That's a neutron star. Every atom inside it has been stripped, broken, and smashed together. Protons and electrons, the very building blocks of matter, fuse under the crushing pressure to form neutrons. No gaps, and no spaces. Just an ocean of densely packed neutrons, a single solid mass of nuclear matter. The result? A teaspoon of this material would weigh more than Mount Everest. In fact, it would outweigh every skyscraper on Earth combined. Let that sink in. If you somehow managed to scoop up just a spoonful of a neutron star and bring it home, it would tear through the planet's crust in seconds. It would sink straight to Earth's core, vaporizing everything in its path, and keep falling until it reached the center. That's how dense it is. This is not just heavy, it's beyond human comprehension. To give perspective, one cubic centimeter of neutron star material, roughly the size of a sugar cube, weighs about 400 million tons. That's roughly the weight of every person on Earth. Times 50. And yet, all of that fits inside a cube small enough to balance on your fingertip. The laws of physics as we know them are barely able to describe what happens inside these stars. Gravity there is so intense that even the structure of atoms, the things that define all matter, cannot survive. Inside a neutron star, matter behaves in ways we still don't fully understand. The pressure is so high that neutrons themselves may start to dissolve, creating a soup of quarks, the most fundamental particles known to exist. A place where matter becomes something beyond imagination. Something almost alien. The magnetic fields of neutron stars are equally terrifying. They are trillions of times stronger than Earth's. If a neutron star were as close to us as the moon, it would wipe every credit card, computer, and electronic memory clean in an instant. Your atoms, your very body, would twist and stretch under its magnetic power. You wouldn't even have time to notice. Some neutron stars spin, not slowly, but at unimaginable speeds. These are called pulsars. They can rotate hundreds of times per second, shooting beams of radiation out into space like cosmic lighthouses. Each pulse marks the rotation of an object that weighs more than the sun yet spins faster than a blender blade. It's almost poetic, the remnants of a dead star, flashing across the void like a cosmic heartbeat. Scientists have studied these pulses for decades, using them to measure time, gravity, and even the ripples of space-time itself. Pulsars are among the most precise natural clocks in existence. Their rotation barely changes, even over millions of years. Some are so stable that atomic clocks on Earth have to adjust to match them. But perhaps the most haunting part of all, neutron stars are not rare. The Milky Way alone may contain over a billion of them. They are scattered across the galaxy, invisible unless you know exactly where to look. Tiny cosmic cinders glowing faintly in the dark. Each one the aftermath of a star's death, a monument to unimaginable power. And yet, as deadly as they are, neutron stars are still delicate in the grand balance of physics. Add just a bit more mass, and even these monsters can't survive. If a neutron star grows too heavy, gravity crushes it further, beyond the point where even neutrons can resist. At that moment, it collapses again, becoming something even darker. A black hole. It's as if nature itself has a limit, a point where density becomes infinity. Where mass folds in on itself and space ceases to make sense. 
a place where the universe hides its deepest secrets. So yes, it's true, a spoonful of a neutron star would weigh about 4 billion tons. That's not hyperbole. That's physics. Cold, relentless, unforgiving physics. But that fact is just a surface crack in a much deeper mystery. Why does matter even hold together at all? How far can it be pushed before reality breaks? And what does that say about the universe that created us, fragile, fleeting beings, out of the same ingredients that once powered suns? The closer scientists look, the stranger neutron stars become. Some seem to flicker between states, switching on and off like a cosmic light bulb. Others collide, creating explosions so bright they outshine entire galaxies. When two neutron stars crash, they release more energy in a second than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime. The blast sends gravitational waves rippling through the fabric of space, waves that we can now detect here on Earth. In 2017, astronomers witnessed such a collision for the first time. It was called GW 170817. Two neutron stars spiraled together, merged, and vanished in a burst of light and gravity. That single event forged gold, platinum, and other heavy elements, the same materials found in your jewelry, your computer, even your blood. Every ring on your finger, every trace of gold on Earth, all of it, was born in the fiery death of neutron stars. So the next time you look at something shiny and valuable, remember, it may have come from a place where matter weighs billions of tons per spoonful. Where physics itself was bent and broken to create the elements that make up everything we are. Neutron stars are both terrifying and beautiful. They are nature's extremes, proof that the universe is capable of things our minds can barely grasp. And they serve as a reminder that everything we see, every planet, every atom, every moment, was forged from destruction. In the beginning, there was chaos. In the end, there is compression. Stars live, burn, collapse, and die, and from their deaths, new worlds are born. Without their destruction, there would be no us. Out there, drifting in the dark, are countless neutron stars, silent, invisible, and unimaginably dense. Each one carries the weight of a story billions of years old. Each one is a frozen explosion, a balance between gravity and nothingness. And somewhere in the depths of space, one might be spinning right now. A tiny beacon pulsing through the void, whispering its impossible story to anyone listening. A story that begins with death, and ends with the heaviest teaspoon in the universe. Four billion tons, in a spoon. It's not science fiction. It's the terrifying truth of reality itself. Mind blown by the universe? Smash that like button if you want more impossible cosmic facts. Subscribe so you never miss a story that stretches the limits of reality, and drop a comment telling us, if you could hold a teaspoon of a neutron star, what would you do first?